Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to Dr. Nazri and anyone else that currently watching this video. My name is Mam Ahikal and today me and also my group members will present about experiment for PHY110 Mechanics 1 which is about frictional force. In this group, we also have Muhammad Akil, Muhammad Haris, Nick Haidin and also Hadril. Before we before we start the presentation, the outline of this presentation is about to explain the objective, method, result, analysis, discussion and also conclusion. Other than that, we also will explain the methods by demonstrate of the experiment. Hi, my name is Nick Hayden and I'm going to talk about the objective and apparatus of this experiment. The objective of this experiment is to determine the coefficient of static friction of different surface and the apparatus is wooden block that cover with rubber at one side, 50 gram mass, 10 newton spring scale, string and table top. Hi and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Haris. So now uh, I will explain to you the about the procedure of the frictional force experiment. So the first is the mass of wooden has been measured and recorded as M. And the second uh, is the, uh, the apparatus was set up as shown in figure 5.2. Third, the table top was ensured stable and horizontal to the ground. And the fourth is the spring scale and the wooden block were attached with a string uh, and they were placed horizontally on the table. The rubber side of the block also was ensured in face downward. And the fifth is, and the fifth is uh, M which is equal to 50 mass was placed uh, on the wooden block. And next six is uh, the spring has been put slowly and once the block started to move, and the spring scale reading was recorded and the value SFS was recorded in table 5.1 7. Step 4 until 5 has been repeated for 3 trials and lastly 8. Uh, step 1 until 8 was repeated with the, with the rubber side of the block facing upward was ancient. The data and the data was recorded uh, in table 5.2 Okay, so we're back to uh, my section, which is I will present you of the result of our team, right? So for the first is about the uncertainty and the mass of the wooden block, we see the rubber surface. Yeah, and this, uh, the table of 5-1 rubber surfaces to the floor, present about this, that uh, I'm going to the average uh, directly which is we we could look that the average presenters these numbers are increased well right but mm, it will be cause the graph not shown well right but that's okay we'll be linked to the table 5.2 which is about the non-proper surface toward the floor 
for the first tab table is about the rubber surfaces, which is the wooden, below the wooden have the rubber, right? And what we got the table present here is the average is decreased by one to zero, which is it's more shortened time to to complete the I mean I mean the wooden is is uh, easily to move without stuck uh, without stuck or in of any force right okay so I'm going to tell you about the analysis for the first question is about the draw and label the free body diagram of the wooden block so this is about the hour draw uh, drawing and the labeling which is uh, for for the figure 51 the apparatus set up with the no rubber surfaces and the second is the apparatus set up with the rubber surfaces All right so the second question is about the plot the graph static friction force force frictions against the normal force and it is newton for the rubber surface and non rubber surface okay so i'll be uh, show you two uh, two graph which is for the against normal force and also i mean sorry i mean uh, the first the normal force against the rubber surfaces and also the uh, normal force against the non rubber surfaces all right so for the first force normal force against uh, rubber surfaces appear the graph is increased proportionally straight well and what about the against non rubber surfaces it is appears not well because because uh, the time is shortened right differently differently to the uh, previous one right okay so use the gradient obtained from the graph to calculate the coefficient of static friction micros for the each surfaces So we have calculated the coefficient for the both of the graph, right? Uh, for the first, the rubber surfaces present the value is about uh, 1.143 is higher the coefficient to this, which is uh, 0 0.2647. It is uh, below for the non rubber surfaces, right? So we can tell that uh, the coefficient for the for, for the rubber surfaces is higher than the non rubber surfaces. Analysis four: Compare and discuss the coefficient of static friction obtained. So coefficient of static friction for rubber surface is 1.143 and non rubber surface is 0 0.2647. So we compare these surfaces and get 0 0.8783. So what can be discussed is rubber surface increases roughness of surface creating greater coefficient of static friction than smooth surface. The question part. Question 1. How can anti-lock brakes stop a car in a shorter distance than regular brakes? So ABS pauses the brakes in this manner to keep static friction in place rather than the weaker force of kinetic friction. Thus, stopping the car more quickly than it would with lock wheels. Question 2. From your experiment, which material has the highest coefficient of static friction? Does this agree with your hypothesis? What do you think determines the coefficient of static friction? So rubber surfaces have the highest coefficient of static friction which prove that the objective of this experiment. Different surfaces have different coefficient of static friction. So rubber surface has 1.143 and non-rubber surface has 0 
the coefficient of static friction can be determined by the ratio of the maximum static friction force between the surfaces in contact before movement commence to the normal force. Question number 3. Once the mass begins to slide, does it move smoothly or does it undergo stop and go motion? Explain the motion. Mass undergo stop and go motion because the mass creates greater weight. And with greater force downward, the mass cannot move smoothly because the friction that acts between the surface become greater. Discussion. Friction is the force that resists the relative motion of one surface in contact with another. Static friction is involved in the experiment. Static friction is the friction that acts on an object that is at rest. Static friction is the force that must be overcome in order to move the static object. The maximum value of static friction force is given by Fs mass equal to micron S n where micron is the coefficient of static friction and n is the normal force. The coefficient of static friction is a dimensionless constant that depends on the object and the surface it is laying upon. In today's experiment objective, we are trying to determine the coefficient of static friction of different surfaces which are rubber and non-rubber surfaces. The result of this experiment gave us the coefficient of static friction between two different surfaces. Rubber surface gave us 1.143 and non rubber surface gave us 0.2647. The difference between the coefficient of static friction of two surfaces is 0.8783. Type of error that has occurred in this experiment is a random error caused by human error. While pulling the spring scale, the ice is not placed directly perpendicular to the spring scale cause randomness in the reading. Conclusion. The difference between coefficient of static friction occur because of surface roughness. Rubber surfaces have the highest coefficient of static friction because the rubber makes the surface of the mass more rough. Simply told, the objective in this experiment have been achieved. So, that's all for today's presentation. Thank you. For